Good afternoon. This is Mike and Chris with Math Blows. Uh, simple math, uh, so simple that your grandmother can do it. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to do a simple derivative. It's very, very easily. Um, comes with some pretty um, bad connotation usually, but it's actually very simple. Um, basically, I'm going to walk you through on how to do this. Um, I'm just kidding. That's that's not has anything to do with derivative. Just kind of freaking you out a little bit. Uh, a derivative is actually quite simple. You start with some function um, y or f of x, and basically what you do is you take the simple function, and the notation for a derivative is prime. Well, it's one of the notations. So the general formula is n times x to the power of n minus 1. So whatever this number is up here, you just put it out front and multiply it and then subtract 1 from that. Same thing right here. It's just different notation. n, x, n minus 1. So basically you can have any function and use this formula and you'll pop out with the derivative of that simple function. Uh, let's do a couple of examples. I'll walk you through just to uh, kind of get your feet wet and see what's going on. So if we start off with a function of y equals x squared, we're going to take this number up here and multiply it out front. So 2 times x and then subtract 1 from that. So 1. So we're just going to end up with 2x. And so now we've just taken the derivative of this function, y equals x squared, and it is 2x. Um, same thing, just a different notation. So we're going to take this number up here and multiply it out front. 5 times x, and then subtract 1. 4 minus, oh, 4, so. So we come out with 5x to the 4th. Moving on, same sort of deal. Um, if you have some function of x, so this is the same thing as saying x to the 1. So if we bring that out front, we just have 1, and then x to the 1 minus 1 is 0. x to the 0 is 1, so you just come out with x. And now we have a constant out front. Um, we're going to use the same technique here with the constant out front, because what we're going to do is we're going to take this 3 and bring it out front and multiply it. So it would be 3 times... 5x, and then 3 minus 1 is 2 squared. So if you multiply 3 and 5, and you get 15x squared. So that's it. That's the derivative of that function. Uh, a few more examples. So just, you know, some crazy constants. So you take this number up here and multiply it out front. So 5 times 100x, and then 5 minus 1 is 4. So you have 500x to the fourth. Um, same sort of thing as we did up here when we did just x to the 1. So this is the same thing, kind of like 3x to the 1. So take the 1, multiply it out front, and then at 1 minus 1 is 0. So 1 times 3 is 3, and x to the 0 is 1. So you're just left with 3. So the derivative of g of x equals 3x is g prime of x equals 3. Um, two more to go. Um, it's the same sort of thing if you have uh, multiple numbers in the same equation. So we're going to take this first part, so 3 times the 4, x, 3 minus 1 is 2, and then do the second part, minus x to the 1, so 1 times 2 is 2 and then x to the 0 is just 1. So you're going to have 12x squared minus 2. Last one. Same sort of deal, just a different notation as usual. So 5 times 5 is 25. x and then 5 minus 1 is 4. Plus 2 times 3 is 6. x, 2 minus 1 is 1. And that's it. Now you know how to do simple derivatives. Yeah.